Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and this is my One Book July. Um, we're going to flip through my Filofax Finsbury in the personal size. It's in the color Raspberry, and this little guy is Tyr, T-Y-R. He is named after one of the Norse gods, and he came to us on Friday. Actually, I came to him. <laughs> I adopted him from the Best Friends uh, Adoption Shelter. Uh, there are no-kill shelter here in Utah and all across the nation. And from uh, up until July 4th, they are having a free um, adoption. So free adoption for kittens, for cats, for dogs, for puppies. So if you have a bestfriends.org uh, shelter in your area and you are looking for a new baby... Um, I would highly suggest that you go pick them up. Um, he has been a handful. <laughs> so, uh, those of you who are looking for my podcast to start today, yeah, we've had some, um, uh, issues with my studio computer and it's up and running now, but because of him, <laughs> We have had to delay, so it'll be sometime in July, probably in the next two weeks. I'm hoping before the 14th or the 15th, and so, um, but yeah, he is, uh, has been, it's been interesting because we, I have a three-year-old Maine Coon, who we also got from the Best Friends Animal Shelter, and, um, they are three years and nine days apart. And Heimdall is 18 pounds. Tear is less than two. <laughs> so it's been a little bit of a challenge. And um, uh, he, we also have a 10-year-old Yorkie. And so trying to get those three to function together has been a little bit of a challenge since Friday. So what I had planned on doing all weekend ended up being... Um, kitten prep. So he is now climbing all over my desk and uh, hopefully doesn't destroy anything. One moment, please. It's here, buddy. Dude, come over here. There you go. Hop down there. Okay. So this again is my one book July and I will also be going digital using my iPad, which you guys are being filmed on right now. So I can't show you any apps on there because it's what I do my filming on. But I want to go ahead and show you everything that I've gotten set up in my Finsbury. Most of this is the July uh, Coco Daisy uh, ringed personal rings uh, kit. And this is the charm that came with the Coco Daisy um, kit this month. And it's a sea creatures theme uh, or a sea, a deep sea theme. And so I'm just going to show you what I have in here. I've got some page flags that I picked up at Daiso when I was in San Diego. So those just slid in there because I like the colors and how it fit. I've got the um, the two Coco Deji sheets. Now this one's from the planner add-on kit, and I didn't actually use any of those yet. And then this is from the uh, planner. There are the planner stickers. And so for July 8, 2018. And sorry, you're going to hear tear. Um, in and out meowing because he's he wants to be up then he wants to be down he wants to be up then he wants to be down <laughs> and then um, it's here it's okay buddy so uh, then I also have uh, two of the Coffee Monsters Co um, bean samplers there and then I've also got the Coffee Monsters regular samplers that she's got and so those are going in here and there, if I can get them back in. And I don't know if those are going to stay there or not because I, I don't want to get them ruined, but that's where I'm keeping them for right now. Then these are, it's a, it's a Franklin Covey um, uh, business card holder, I think. But these are actually little page flags from Daiso. And they're little cats, and I thought since... Little Butt has um, joined us. Uh, I thought I would put those in there. So they they fit in there great. They're on um, clear 
little plastic sheets. And so, yeah, I just thought, oh, I'll use that because I had a couple of extras. So this is the opening of July, and this is the um, cardstock uh, tab holder or thing. This, on the back of that, it gives you the monthly layout of July. I know it's kind of light, so you guys can see that. And this is going to be where I actually track my no-spin days. July, actually, the next six months um, is going to be as much of a no-spend as I can. But July uh, is, I, I do it weekly, and I try to do at least four days per week. Um, but uh, in June, I ended up with 11 no-spend days. In May, I ended up with 14, which is the most I've ever had. So... I would like to beat 14, so we're going to see what happens. But this is where I'm going to track the no-spin days. This is a folder that I'm not sure where I got it. Um, it was in a pack of folders that I had, and I just have um, various samplers. I always have, like I said, if you've watched my channel at any point in time, you know I have a Death Wish sticker in all of my TNs, um, no matter what, somewhere. And this was going to be no different. So this is a sampler from Faye Creates. And these are just uh, stickers from, uh, I have no clue, I think maybe um, Franklin Covey, but I'm not sure. Uh, then these are Planner Kate uh, stickers, and then I've got some of the Once More With Love stickers in there as well. They're smaller, so I want to keep those in there. And then this is Red Fawn Design. Uh, this is about personal care. And then this is from Pemberley Prints. And these always usually end up in my weeks how, because they're so small, all of the different icons and everything. But because this is a personal, I, it, I figured it would work fairly well in here as well. So I pulled all those out to just keep in here for the month. So, <coughs> excuse me. And yeah, he is. He's walking around the floor. So, um, and then I'm going to flip that over. And then I just used some of the Coco Daisy washi tape to, because it was just a plain white folder to kind of dress it up a little bit. And then this is one of my clear pockets. It's They're actually um, repositionable, which I did not know. So they're a vinyl pocket. And um, these are some that I actually sell in, um, uh, on the Buy Sell Trade group. Um, but I've gotten a couple of packs of 100. And then these are my Hobonichi stencils, which I think will work very well in here as well. Uh, this is from Sin Wunder. Uh, it's a company out of Germany. And I found this pack, and I got it for 89, I want to say 89 cents. But um, it had various um, pieces in it. And it was a whole year. but And it was already ringed, uh, punched for rings. But I've just got July in here, but this is their uh, year to glance and for 2018-2019, and I like that. And it's cardstock, so I decided to put that in here. And then this is where I'm going to use my, instead of my, well, not instead, because I'm still going to keep up with my bullet journal. But um, but I'm my bullet journal and my Hobonichi will have, uh, I'll go back um, and put July in once I get everything done. Either on the 15th, I'll do half, and then at the end of the month, I'll do half, or I'll do it at the end of each week. I don't know which is going to work better for me. But this is where I'm going to do one line a day and the where, that I normally put in my July task list. And then I've got August, September, October, November, and December just to have that. And then if you watched my uh, do-it-yourself DIY um, inserts, and I'll link that up above there. This is actually a uh, waitress check and that I've cut down. I've cut the top off and did, done that. And then this is out of a, uh, um, I want to say, oh my goodness. Uh, it is a Rhodia notepad, a dot grid notepad. And it normally sits this way. And then you just rip it off at the top. But I wanted to have some extra paper in here just in case. And so I just decided instead of cutting it down or whatnot to make it long, I'm just going to do like a little Dutch door. And there you go. So these will be for notes, for um, grocery lists, whatever. So I've got a few up here. This is the cardstock from um, 
Cocoa Daisy, and I cut it down, and I saved a lot of the other, all the pieces, because they are really cute. And then these are the tabs from Cocoa Daisy, along with a little bit of hair from uh, Tear. So this is my hourly weeks, and this, I got these inserts. This is one of the set of inserts that I got from Yellow Paper House to this will replace my uh, weekly view in my Hobonichi. So I've got that. I'm going to list an hourly. And I, here I've kind of tested it out. Um, I'm not, I think I'm going to do the 5 to 11.30 instead of listing 10 to, to 11, 10 in the morning to 11. Because at work, there it's almost always the same. So if I... I, and I commute, so and my commute is over an hour, but if I go to the gym, then I can write that I'm driving to the gym, and I usually hit the gym about 5.30, and so I think this is the what I'm going to do there, and then I can put my to-dos here for the, for the day, and um, this is, I got, today I went to Savers, and they had, along the wall, they always have bagged just hodgepodge stuff. And they had a whole bag full of planner uh, page finders. And some of them were pocket and some of them were personal. And most of them were Franklin Covey, but this one was a day timer. And so what I did is I took little stickers that I've had. These are from the Do Your Best and Forget the Rest is from the June um, kits from Cocoa Daisy. And then this is a Once More with Love sticker, Planner Girl sticker. And so, and then it says, because underneath this sticker is a day timer. It says day timer and their, their logo. And then it says it's all about you. And then you've also, then below you had their um, uh, trademark mark over there. And so, what are you doing, bud? Come on. So, sorry, I was just making sure he was okay. So, I just decided to take the stickers and put those there because I like that so much better. So I've got this for the weeks of July and so I'll go through. They're already, I dated them all. They are undated so you have to go through and, and date them all but I love that. But I love Yellow Paper House. This is one of two inserts that I have from them. And then next is my weekly training or daily training is going to be as of today. And so this is another one of the deals that came with the whole pack. And it was actually a Franklin Covey. And so I took the exercise tracker sticker from uh, Coco Daisy. Now, if you watched my unboxing this month or for July, you will know that I made a mistake and ordered two kits. One for the rings and one for my, my um, uh, regular planner. And so I had dub double the stickers. So I'm like, wow, I might as well just use those. And that's just one of the stickers in their planner kit. And then I just took some washi tape, and instead of having, I mean, you can almost see the Franklin Covey um, uh, symbol for the, it's got like a compass symbol, but I just took some uh, washi tape, some of my, this is Simply Gilded, their coffee cake tape, and I am using that for my exercise tracker, so daily, so I can find where it is daily. And then these are the Bison Wonder, again, and this is... You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, rows per day. And then you get a section for notes at the top of each week. And this is going to be where I'm going to track my my steps, my exercise, all of that. And what I do per day for training. So this month kicks off doing something almost every day. Um, Saturdays will be my rest day. So I've got that for all of July. And it's a daily so we go until August 2nd. Then this, I'm actually not sure. This is going to replace my weeks. Um, and so, because like in your weeks, you have, I mean, these should be flipped if it was more like your weeks, but oh, this is self-care. I don't know why I didn't put that in there. Cause I was like, wait a minute, I haven't figured that, but I obviously I have. So this is replacing my self-care weeks. Um, layout and so this is normally on the on this side of the weeks you have the the breakout of this Monday through Saturday or Sunday and then on the other side you have the blank grid page and so were these split 
it would look like the, the Hobonichi Weeks. And so this is going to be my self-care tracker here. And then, um, then, and I've, like I said, I've got that for the whole week. And this is from Coco Daisy again. This is another set of things that you get. Um, and then I have my meal tracking. And uh, again, another piece of the cardstock that they send you. And then this... For you get a, a weekly breakdown and this is where I'm going to do my meal tracking and because I forgot to get my um, yellow paper house uh, meal tracker because usually I have that in a, it's in a yellow it's like a golden rod um, and it's in my my tracker my pocket tracker so um, I was freaking out thinking oh my gosh I don't have anything to track my my meals and then I thought wait a minute I've got plenty of different things available in the Coco Daisy kit. So this is where I'm going to be doing that. I'll I'll map out because what I track are my carbs, my protein, my fat, and my calories. And so I'm just gonna put down what I eat for each meal and track the carbs and all of that. And so I am also doing uh, a whole life challenge um, all through the month of March or of March. <laughs> oh, how I wish it was already over. No, um, for the next six weeks, I'm doing the whole life challenge. And uh, I was not going to track it. I was not going to pay the $50 to go online and do it. It's $49 because I missed, because I've done this before and it has an electronic tracker um, that you can, it's just an app you can do on your phone or on your iPad or both, whichever you want to do. And I wasn't going to do it. I'm like, I can do this by myself. But I've been doing it um, since the first or second week of June. Yeah. Because it's so easy because I don't have to really be accountable. So I'm just like, eh. And in the app, you actually get points. And you can compare yourself to other people during a day, during a week, during, you know, whatever period of time. So it is costing me an extra 25 bucks because I should have done it two weeks ago when the the previous uh, participants could get in for 24 bucks. No. Lesson learned. Do it. Do it then. Just don't worry about it. So, um, on the 7th, I'll, which is my payday, I'll actually sign up for that. So I'll have another tracker that I'll be using as part of my digital um, tracking. So, if you are going to do the whole life challenge that starts on July 7th, let me know. Because I would absolutely love to to follow you or go into a group with you. And we can keep each other accountable. So there you go. But this is where I'm going to be tracking everything that I eat and all of that on paper. Because I have to do it on paper too. And then again, this is another one of my, of those pack of things that came in this bag today. And I got it for $1.99. Which was crazy. I'm like... Oh my gosh, and I'll show you some other things that were really cool, which I wish were still around. But then I just took my Hobonichi um, washi tape, which I use very, very sparingly because it was a freebie with the 2017 order. And so it's got little Hobonichi Weeks planners. And then it just says every so, not, every so, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Every eight planners, it has the life book and it has that in um, Japanese. And I love it. And I got it as a freebie and I'm like, oh yeah. And so I'm like, well, that's going to be kind of permanent. So we'll just put that in there. And I use the yellow one for that because like I said, my meal planner is usually goldenrod from uh, Yellow Paper House. And so this will work for that. So then I have the whole month there and you get... Um, I know it doesn't look like a whole lot, but um, I can do meal planning here for the week. And then I also get this on the back. So if I run out of room or whatever, I have plenty of room for everything, for notes, anything that I want to do. If I want to kind of break down how my week went, all of that. And so I've got all the weeks marked out in here already. And so they're already dated. And... I've got everything in there. I'm going to be traveling um, some during the month. And PlannerCon, uh, PlannerCon Parties is uh, going to be in Salt Lake on the, on the 14th, or on the 12th and 13th of uh, 
No, on the 13th and 14th of July. So, and I already have my ticket for that. So next up, we have, I do have a, another uh, pocket that I just decided to put there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you this before I flip on through because this is the most brilliant thing I have ever seen. And I have never seen this before. Um, this is, they call it a, a pouch page finder. It's from Franklin Covey. And you can see that, all their information there. I took um, uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, TN stickers and put it over their logo because I'm like, I want it to be pretty. And so I just did that. But these come in a pack. There's 52. It's a package of 52 of these. And I'm like, I freaking love this. Um, and it's, like I said, it's from Franklin Quest, which you, is Franklin Covey now, but this is from like 1997. And so, at least I think Franklin Quest is Franklin Covey. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Franklin Covey now. But I love these. And why people don't use these for rings anymore, I don't know. Because, like, you would think that Aaron Condren or somebody would have jumped on that. Because, like, to take this in and out just to have some to-dos on every day, if you're using a daily planner, holy cow. So, that's where I'm keeping the spares. Now, obviously, I cut off the Franklin Quest thing because it stuck up just a little bit. And so, if you just cut that off and then cut that off. There you go. It works great. And, oh! Except for when you have it. Oh! Come here, Tina. Come here, bud. You are a climber. Okay. Now that I've got him back over here. So, um, but yeah, it cuts off a little bit of this. <laughs> but, um, here's, can you hear his purr? It's like so loud. This is what I deal, dealt with the whole time trying to get this set up is he just wants to love. So he's so tiny. So anyway, um, so this is the daily pages and in this, <laughs> he now has my arm. That is so hilarious. But in this, um, you can put in your goals and this again is part of the kit from Coco Daisy, which I gotta say, I am so impressed with their ring kit. I went ahead and did the rings for August because I'm like, I'm kind of liking this. And so I went ahead and did that. And so this is going to be my July goals. And I'm just going to put the ones there because in the beginning of every um, month in my Hobonichi, I normally break down my goals for the month. Um, but this is where I'm going to put it. And then they have a monthly spread. And I've already gotten, uh, I think, Salt Lake Planner Con Party. Um, this is where I'm going to be going to an SCA event. Um, this is my husband's birthday and vacation. I've got vacation all next week. I'm going to go to Boise this weekend. Um, leaving on th Wednesday morning on July 4th. And so I love this. And then, um, and then we get into the daily pages and, oh, and they also have a year at a glance for future planning, which is amazing. I love that. But this is the uh, daily pages. So you get, it's a front and back normally. And so you get a schedule, to-do list, your water list, and um, call or email, and then your notes. And then this is an, a daily insert from Yellow Paper House. This is what I normally track my weight loss uh, or my whole life challenge. Um, I track my sleep here. So I put when I go to sleep um, here. I don't use these two. Um, really and so I cross that out and this is when I wake up in the morning and then this was when I go to bed and I backfill that and so on so on um, this I will put when I went to bed and then that next morning I'll put how many hours I slept so if I slept from my normal bedtime is 10 o'clock or try to be and then I usually get up at 4:45. so I'll do from 10, 8, 10 p.m. to 4.45 here, and I just color that in with a highlighter. Now, granted, I've already got water here, but it does not hurt to have that there, because like I said, this is the insert that I normally use in my pocket every day. 
on top of my hobonichi. And so then I can put my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then two snacks, and what exercise, exercises I've done. Then I have a daily goal and the daily gratitude. And this is where I mark out my nutrition, my well-being, my sleep, all of that here. And usually you have about half that for the pocket version. But since I have so many there, I may add some more stuff there. But this is where I normally would do my evening, um, just how the evening or how the day went as far as the challenge goes. And so I'll either put it there or here. I'm not sure which. I think I might actually put it here because it's not so condensed. And then just put other notes here. and We'll see what happens. But then I have that for every day through the entire month. And then in the back, I have, and this goes all the way up to August 1st. Um, and then I have extra pages for the, for the lists and then um, for the foldouts and some extra grid paper from Franklin Covey that I cut down, some business cards. And then I had an, one more extra little business card holder. So I just put some post-it notes there. And then I don't have anything in here just because it is so hard to kind of get in and out of. So I'm like, cause it's so tight. I'm like, if I wanted to put some stickers in there, I would, but I just don't, I may put some receipts in there. I don't know. But this is what I have for my setup for One Book July. And oh, I gotta put this back in there, but I love this thing. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, um, and it just slides back in there. So, and then every day I can see what I've gotten, any appointments or any to-dos, anything like that. Now, the other one that they had um, was the Weekly Compass from them, and you can still get these, but it's like, what's the most important thing I can do in this role this week? And I'm sure it's, it's part of their whole Franklin Covey thing, but... Um, I just, I can cut that down and it, and it slides in there, but these are a little bit too big. And so I think this is for the, like the A5 version. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay, well, I might use this as a bookmark, um, in my A5 when I go back to my Hobonichi, but yeah, I love these. So, but again, if I was to open my own shop, I would actually do something like this and and make it a little bit more pretty and have it go up a little bit. So you could actually do this and put in a little to-do. It, 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 it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, why did you stop doing this? So, I mean, obviously you could have things there in like your weekly tracker or whatever, but to have that just right there instead of just having it be blank is so nice. You know, I mean, instead of having that just having something that you can slide in there. That is freaking awesome. So anyway, this is my one book July and I am amazed that I got everything in here and that it shuts. The only downside to this is that my Lammy doesn't fit. So I have my, um, my Uniball Signo, um, which is a fine point or 0 0.038 or 0 0.38 which is a fine point. And then I've got the little charm there, which, you know, it's not exactly a planner, you know, a, a TN charm, but, or it is a TN charm, but that's pretty much the only place I can put that. So I thought about trying to hang something off here, but I, I think that's just fine. And if I wanted to get, if I decided it got in my way, you can always just go in, flip this down and just tuck it in and... There you go. It doesn't flip around or anything. So, so yeah, there you have it. My entire life in my Filofax. I like that you can barely see the Filofax symbol on this one. But, again, I wanted a Malden, and Carrie Harling is taunting me with that stone personal Malden. I'm like, oh, I want that. So, we'll see if it ever goes on sale, but... Um, otherwise I'm look on the lookout for an ochre Malden and, uh, something in a brown or the stone is beautiful, beautiful. And that's what she's using for one book July. So 
who knows? Maybe I will find one on eBay or someplace in a few months. But if I like this, I, I don't know. I, I will say I have enjoyed setting this up. And I love the versatility that I can bring in all of these different things. And just kind of make my own thing. So, I mean, I, there's no way I can give up my, my Traveler's Notebooks. I love those too much. But, holy cow. If I was traveling or whatnot, putting it all... Knowing that I can put everything into this. Now, the only thing that's not in here is my bills. Is, and so, the bill tracker is staying in its... In its... Um, in the, my Prometheus, in my uh, standard... But if I had to, I could put that in here somewhere. I know I could. And, you know, I could either put it in here. I could put it in here. Literally, I could, I could just add another section for bills. And, um, and it would work. So, I mean, I could, put, I could make this my bills section and not have my goals. Um, or just put in a whole other page. And that's it. You know, I, it, it's literally a couple of pages if I wanted to, to like, shrink it down and, and just say, okay, this is going to, I mean, here on, all I would need is a month on two pages, and I could put my bills in. So, so it would just be a, a two-page spread, and it's there. So, but because I want to try to stick with a, uh, a plan that I've been going to see if it actually does really work. Um, I'm going to um, keep all my bills and stuff into the, the the regular standard. However, now that I'm thinking about it, and I just said, you know, it's just going to take a two-page spread, I will probably put a two-page spread in here just so I can tick it off, like I said before, what I would normally put in my uh, bullet journal, and I can just put it in at any point in place. Here, so um, I wouldn't even have to put it in any of these. Uh, I could just put it up here at front where I'm having this. I mean, I could even make this one, but I I will just put an additional page, couple of pages here to do that. So there you go, everything, everything in there. Um, I will still do my morning, uh, my miracle morning. And all of that in a different journal because that's just something completely different. And uh, then we'll see how this goes. So I will probably have my... Ne I'll, I'll probably be doing updates on this weekly. Um, and so uh, I will let you guys kind of see how everything's coming together. Uh, obviously, I won't be able to give you any kind of digital updates because you're filming on my iPad and that's what I'll be using. But I will make sure that I let you know any other apps that I'm going to add to my phone um, other than the Whole Life Challenge. And um, I have my Bullet Journal uh, app from bulletjournal.com. I've been looking into OmniFocus, but I'm going to see how that goes. I know it, because it's like a $40 fee, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know Carrie Harling's looking at OmniFocus or has been using OmniFocus and Evernote. And there is a free version of Evernote, but. I just like writing everything down. So we will see how it all goes. But it's really not that thick, you guys. I thought it would be. And, and part of the sickness is the is the, the little packet of stickers and stuff that I've got there. And then that um, little hard card of all these little flags from Daiso. So really, I could slim this down a little bit more. Uh, and put in some more pages if I needed to. But there you go. And I am very excited about this, but I truly loved setting this up. I was just having a ball. And so, um, but I will also tell you that I have had a ball setting up, moving everything forward from my uh, January to June Hobonichi Evac, Cousin Evac, to the July to December. So, July will not be missing out of my Hobonichi or my bullet journal, just so you know. But um, we'll see how it goes. And see, I do have uh, rings for a planner kit coming for August for this, just because I really kind of liked it and I liked setting it up. And who knows? I, this may become my work planner. I don't know. 
uh, because I don't really use my personal stuff at work. I'll just note something down and then I'll put it back in my bag. I just don't like having it open on my desk. But this, I could totally do that. And it's not an obnoxious color. So there you go. Um, let me know what you're doing for uh, One Book July down below. And then also, if you are using a ringed planner, I would love to know that and what inserts that you use. And if you've ever tried the Coco Daisy kit, because I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So there you have it. And I hope you enjoy uh, the, the month of July and uh, with whatever you're doing. I will link One Book July's, their, um, their Facebook page and all of that down below so that you'll have that in the show notes. But um, And then, as I said, this little guy here who's been just hanging out right next to me. He will, uh, he has kind of kept me from getting my podcast finished. So look for that sometime in the next two weeks, but I will definitely announce it when that happens. And, um, uh, please, uh, as always spend your day, rest of your life celebrating because what better way to, to live your life. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.